All right, you guys, Joseph150 here. Um, basically, I'm pretty much done with the volume one of Mastering the Unreal Technology. I've been working on this book alone for about six months. Um, I take, you know, classes. Um, it's called Gaming Art and Gaming Design. Um, I've been taking this class at my university for about six months already. Finally done with the first volume, so... Um, Basically, it's pretty much the whole thing is based off of um, Unreal Tournament, you know, gears, that type of thing. So, um, even has the disc right here, whatever. But, um, I've pretty much learned a lot. You pretty much learn how to create characters, make levels, pretty much make a game from scratch just by learning this book right here. Um, I will be working on Volume 2, my next, actually, yeah, my next semester, or how to get Volume 2, but... I'm pretty much bringing this up because a lot of people don't understand the 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 real makings of a game and how hard it is to make a game, regardless. Um, me taking these classes for as long as I've did, and I hope I passed. I mean, <laughs> hope please be. I hope it be. But um, taking these classes, you know, uh, I got more respect for games that come out, regardless of whether or not they're shit or whether or not they're AAA titles, because I've realized that you know making you know uh making a game it just takes so long it takes years you know of experience basically except for movie games movie games movies games that are based off of movies um honestly straight up teacher told me this i mean it's all true it takes what maybe five six months to make rather than uh maybe arkham city to take a couple years movies that are based off of games you know are 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 games based off of movies take about six months less than a year for sure but I just kind of wanted to bring that up, basically. So, um, that was pretty much about, you know, Icy Rhythms pretty much saying in his last video about how people don't understand what it's like to create a game and things like that. I know what it's like to create a game. Anyways, um, other than that, okay, um, I work at GameStop also. Um, so, I'm pretty much working at GameStop and this guy comes up to me. He wants to know about Zelda. Zelda Skyward Sword is coming out really, really soon. Don't remember the date. Whatever, I don't give it, I don't really don't care. But, um, basically, I couldn't give him, really give him too much about Skyward Sword just because, you know, it's, I mean, I have no, no problem with Zelda, but I wasn't working in that department to where I'm supposed, you know, in that department. So I got one of my other guys to talk about Zelda and things like that because I'm more of an Xbox, PS3, you know, PC type of knowledge. You know, that's what I was hired for. But, um, my issue, it got me kind of thinking about the whole Zelda franchise. And to me, honestly, my favorite Zelda was Ocarina of Time and Twilight Princess. Both of them, you know, they can't really compete against each other. But, you know, Twilight Princess to me was, was in that time, just as good as Ocarina of Time. If not, that was the Ocarina of Time of that generation. I mean, you know, don't quote me on that, but that's just what I believe. But, um, it got me kind of thinking, okay, so... I'm going after the, I'm going for the consoles. I'm not talking about the the, the handhelds or anything like that. I'm not going I'm not going after four swords or anything like that. I'm going from Ocarina of Time, which was a great 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 game, uh, Majora's Mask, which was a really great game. Um, like I said, I'm just going after I'm just going after the top of my head. So if I forget anything, mention it. But um, you have. But Wind Waker, which was an awesome game that it really showed. A new innovation for for you know that time you know the cartoony look you know it was still a very you know competitive type of game it wasn't hardcore but it was very you know it was it was entertaining it was just such a great game it had full potential and it led the way for what is now um, Skyward Sword because Skyward Sword kind of has that Twilight Princess kind of kind of feel to it but yet it looks you know has that cartoony kind of brightish look like. Um, like Wind Waker, Wind Waker, yeah, um, but still not of the same, but I have to say, you know, Twilight Princess, going to the Twilight Princess, that was such a, a great game, it was, it was, it was, you know, it had one of those dark, greedy type of games, you know, um, of course, Link never talks, you know, this, the game itself was just so epic, it was so awesome, you know, and I, I respected that, now that they're going to Skyward Sword, I don't know what to think, you know, uh, I actually do have a Wii, gathering up dust somewhere i don't play my wii you know i've had it um a couple i had a wii first 
when I first moved out here, I had a Wii first. Um, I didn't know which system to get, so I chose a Wii. Had a Wii for a while, just for Super Smash Brothers Brawl and for Twilight Princess. And then after I got bored with that, I picked up a PlayStation 3. Whatever. But other than that, um, I still have my Wii. Skyward Sword, I'm probably thinking about getting it. Um, depends. I don't know if I feel like it. But um, I'm really looking forward to the game. But then again, I'm kind of not just because there are all kinds of other better games coming out that I, uh, I really want. I'm, I'm able to get all of them, but it's just... I'm trying, you know, I'm trying to feel if, if Zelda's really worth it. I mean, I'm a big Zelda fan. I mean, I have a tattoo of, of the Triforce on my back. It's got to be something. But, um, and the fact that I was watching the Black Baron's video going after General G, General G going after Black Baron, that kind of shit, whatever. Um, I, I'm, just, I'm just saying in general that, you know, basically what I'm trying to say is, is the Zelda franchise kind of declining? Because you have that Wii type of motion, and I mean, wouldn't you rather, wouldn't you prefer it on the controller? Just have like the you know the the GameCube controller or whatever controller you're using, and just kind of using your thumbs and slashing instead of standing up and doing this. I mean, there's so much awkwardness to it. You know, Twilight Princess had the option to switch from the GameCube controller to the to the Wii mode. Um, you might not. You might have that option with a Skyward Sword. Um, like I said, I'm not too big on the Wii. You know, but I'd rather not do this the whole time and stand up looking weird. I'd rather sit down and enjoy my game like I should, you know, eat some food while I'm playing, things like that. But that, like I said, that's just my little opinion. That's my little gripe about it. I was just curious, is 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 Zelda, you know, is, is Zelda Skyward Sword worth it? Out of all these other great games, well, never mind. Never mind. This is Nintendo I'm talking about, huh? This is the only great game. Hmm.